posting and trying to get slightly better each time, it's almost impossible to fail. If you're watching this video, then you're probably just like me and you're completely overthinking your YouTube channel. I wanted to make this video for a few reasons. One, because I wish someone had made this video for me when I was just starting out. I think it would have made my life so much easier. Two, because I think this subject has been completely overcomplicated by some of the other content creators on YouTube, uh, telling you to do things and to strategize in ways that are a bit advanced for beginners and not really necessary. And because I'm a passionate believer that anyone can change their life by producing content on YouTube, no matter how a novice of a content creator they may be. And lastly, because I'm just getting back into making videos and I have no idea what I want to post yet. So I figured I might as well talk about something that I know how to do, which is get monetized on YouTube. Now jumping right in, how did I get monetized in two months? Now this was my second time getting monetized. This was back in 2021. I had gotten monetized way before back when I was in like middle school making really crummy like sports videos. But I'm much more proud of my second attempt at creating YouTube videos because I was able to get monetized in only two months and in a way that I believe can be replicated by almost anyone. So how did I get monetized in only two months? I started uploading to my YouTube channel July 9th of 2021. Now that was about two years ago, and even though that feels like a lifetime ago, I promise that this method will still hold up in 2023 and for the foreseeable future. I don't really see this method going away. I think this is the most simple way to get monetized on YouTube. And if you stick around, I'm going to be going through the exact same process on this channel and hopefully reaching monetization in even less than two months just to prove it again. July 9th, I started posting my YouTube channel and I had earned monetization by September 15th just a little bit over two months, so 69 days, funny enough, just under 10 weeks, which I believe is pretty impressive because honestly, I don't know too many people who have actually been able to get their YouTube channels monetized. I think my success really boils down to four things. The first being volume. Over 69 days, I produced 123 different videos for my YouTube channel. That's just about two videos a day. Now, these videos weren't long. They were anywhere from three to five to 10 minutes. Now, I don't believe you need to stick to uploading two videos every day, but I believe that if you could average out to about two videos a day over time, let's say you have one day where you have a lot of time to create content, I will just try to pump out as many videos as possible. Honestly, in the beginning, it truly is just a volume thing. Your videos really don't need to have any value or authority. Uh, a lot of these channels, the reason why I say it's becoming over overcomplicated is they're telling you that you need to have your niche or try to figure out something that you're an authority on uh, very early on in the YouTube process, which I think is a good thing if you're able to figure that out. But many people such as myself, this go around, I'm not really sure what I wanna post about, but I know that posting on YouTube is the only way that I'll be able to get better and be able to develop any authority at all. I'm assuming you're probably like me if you're watching this video and you overthink what your niche is, what videos you wanna upload. Uh, do you know enough about the subject to really be knowledgeable enough to make these videos? And the answer is yes. There are so many people on YouTube that don't have any authority on the subjects they speak upon, but still do great just because they have the confidence to put that content out into the world. And over time, you will slowly begin to gain authority in these topics as you talk more and more about them and learn more about them through creating content and getting more comfortable talking about that content. And as people uh, discover your channel and see that you have a backlog of 50 videos talking about the NBA or whatever your given subject is, you will just slowly but surely become an authority on that a given subject, which can only happen if you start and you start producing massive volume because you just wanna get that thousand subscribers and 4K watch hours as fast as possible. And then you're free to do whatever you want on your channel. The second and most important thing that I did to reach monetization in only two months is utilizing trends. Figure out what you wanna make videos on. Like I said, it doesn't have to apply to a single niche. Just make videos on whatever, as many as possible. See what sticks, see what you like. It's all about volume, but you have to be somewhat strategic in that you know, if you make a video about something that no one's searching, how do you expect people to find your videos? For example, if you make a video on like the NBA niche and you say uh, ranking NBA point guards, that's your title, ranking NBA point guards, that will definitely not do as well as a video that says, you know, uh, why Chris Paul is worse than Steph Curry or something. That's a, a, a poor uh, title still, but um, what I'm saying is use, um, popular IP, names, celebrities, you need to sort of clickbait or take the most popular thing in your niche at a given time and just hammer that subject so that you can try to capture and reel in some of the audience that's out there searching for these things. For my channel, I picked the NFT niche, which I hammered on way too hard. Um, 
and that's how I ended up getting burnt out on my channel because I went for a niche that I thought would be the most profitable, which is all these what these people tell you to do. You know, pick the purpose of your channel and find the niche and just hammer it. Niche isn't something that you can pick before you start the channel. That's what I realized with my NFT phase because um, you just need to make videos on what you like and slowly you'll develop over time uh, a good mesh between what you like and what your audience likes and where you can provide the most value. If you go into it uh, with a certain niche, even though I did like NFTs at the time and I was like, oh, I enjoy this, let me make videos on it. It wasn't something that in the long run was able to hold my attention because it was just sort of like a fad or a phase in my life. Some people will be better at others than talking in front of the camera. That was one of the other points to success I wrote down was uh, increased comfortability. When you produce such a high volume of videos over such a short period of time, you have no choice but to improve. You will just naturally improve your cadence, your speaking, your talking, everything. And it's kind of like riding a bike. Like I recorded my first video yesterday. I haven't made a video since February 2022, I believe, because I did record a few more videos after I got monetized and then I stopped because I think I was so determined to reach monetization that once I did, I sort of like took a step back and really, well, there were a lot of other things going on in my life, but even now it was so hard to record yesterday because that momentum had stopped and I hadn't recorded in so long. And even today, now that I've forced myself to make a second video two days in a row, I can already feel that I'm getting better at talking to the camera. It just happens naturally over time and you'll be so surprised where you end up after making a hundred or 200 videos. And lastly is continuous improvement. Now. Don't think that you need to go too hard into this. Just try to pay some attention to which of your videos are doing the best. If you mention Steph Curry in your title, is it getting more views than when you put LeBron in your title? Um, extrapolate that to whatever your niche is and so on and so forth. And if you can just produce a massive volume of videos while utilizing trends, you know, whatever the newest one is, talking about the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT, if that's taking off, talking about LeBron James, if something popular is happening with him. Uh, if you just produce a lot of videos of whatever is trending in your niche, uh, keep getting better at talking on the camera, which will just happen naturally, and then try to notice some trends in how your content is performing. Then I have no reason to believe you wouldn't be able to get your monetization within at least six months. If you overthink too much like I've been doing, then you won't get anywhere. This is great proof. I'll upload this video and I'll think there's so many people out there that are already talking about this subject, but I guarantee this video will still get views. I had a list of things I wanted to address that I thought didn't matter. I already mentioned niche. I already mentioned authority. You don't need to start with any given niche or don't worry about niche at all. Your YouTube channel, you can change your niche throughout as you go on. You don't want to end up uh, like a creator like iDubs where you pick a niche and you just have to keep hammering at it and then you feel stuck because, you know, YouTube, everyone wants to get into YouTube as a hobby to uh, do something they enjoy to potentially make a little extra income or just for fun. But I feel like that fun gets removed when you are just trying to make videos for this audience that you created that enjoys a certain brand that you provide that you no longer identify with. But honestly, this sounds sort of unethical, but I would just say it's a free for all. Just make videos on whatever you need to do, produce as much volume as you need to be able to get to that monetization threshold. Because then once you're there, you can make videos about whatever you want. Hello Kitty, you know, like literally anything you want. Even if it's not the high earning business need, if you're only able to create content consistently when you're talking about something you really like, like Hello Kitty, then that's fine. Your CPMs might not be great, but you'll still be earning money to talk about what you love and what could be better than that. I wish there was more research done on YouTube. I know that we're still way too early. Maybe there are some studies out there in progress, but I think it would be really interesting to see if you took a thousand 20 year olds and they all were in like a control group where none of them started YouTube channels. And then you had a group of a thousand 20 year olds that made YouTube channels. I'd love to see where the groups would end up in 20 years because I'm sure there would be some cons. I'm sure maybe the YouTubers would be a little stressed from having to uh, keep up with their channel perhaps. But I believe these people would definitely have more disposable income, more confidence from having put themselves out there and seeing something they've created on their own succeed. I was going to get into some of the do's and don'ts about what to put in your content when you're first trying to reach monetization because there are certain tricks that you can use to try to lengthen the amount of time people watch your video so you can rack up those watch hours. But I believe this video has gone on too long so I'm going to put that in tomorrow's video. So be sure to stick around. I would really appreciate if you subscribed and liked the video. It really helps me out a ton and I would love for you to stick around to be able to see that Hopefully, as I said, I will be able to reach monetization even faster this time, even though I don't think I'm going to be able to get a second video up today. That segues perfectly into some YouTube mindset things that I believe is important for all creators to have and I just think is a good note to end the video off on. One is if you just keep posting and trying to get slightly better each time, it's almost impossible to fail.
only times that I've ever failed at YouTube is when I just stopped uploading. If you just keep uploading, it's almost a guarantee that you will eventually get views. Your thought process, your creative process will eventually get better over time. And you just need to stay grounded. Uh, don't get too excited for a good video and don't let a bad video ruin your mood. Life, YouTube, algorithms, people are all weird and unpredictable. You never know, you just have to do things, put things out into the world and see what comes of it. Along with that, don't look at, I mean, I'm a huge uh, perpetuator of this myself, but don't look at someone like Mr. Beast or don't get caught up in all these people doing super well on YouTube. You know, those are the outliers. If you want to try to be a Mr. Beast, sure, but you're gonna have to have your few years where your content just stinks. So don't worry about putting out this volume or if your videos are bad. No one remembers the videos that Mr. Beast started with. No one remembers any of this stuff. Just put it out, people will watch it, you'll get better over time, you'll get to monetization status, and overall things will just be good. You can worry about trying to get to Mr. B status later. You shouldn't forfeit the opportunity to have a nice small channel that can help you in the future because of insecurities related to not thinking you'll be able to be as big as Mr. Beast. There's a lot of creators that are nowhere near the size of Mr. Beast that will be able to have a much better life because they started their YouTube channel. That being said, be sure to have a goal besides monetization. My new goal is to just have a YouTube channel where I can document some of the things I've learned over time, build a community of like-minded individuals, and hopefully make a little bit of money on the side that will help me throughout my life. Don't just strictly worry about getting monetized because each time that I've done YouTube and was just strictly trying to get to monetization, once you reach monetization, I've found that my uh, ambition slowly trickles off, which I don't know how why that's happened to me. Some people, once they see the money coming in, they just get super excited. Me, even though I saw money coming in, it was like, okay, I achieved the goal of monetization that I worked so hard for. So don't Think too much about it. Don't overthink it. If you're watching this video this far, you're definitely overthinking it, which don't worry. I'm not trying to call you out like that because I am a huge overthinker. The last seven months, I've been wanting to start YouTube and now I'm finally doing it. And as you'll see, even though well, yesterday's video sucked and this video probably sucked and my next hundred videos will probably suck, come back in three months and I'll probably be monetized, come back in three years and hopefully I will have a play button because if you just do things, it'll get better and it will happen. So with that being said, don't just think about the money. Don't get stuck doing something you don't like. Make that Hello Kitty YouTube channel if you want to. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. That's all for me. Peace.